Welcome to vSkills, YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn about the top interview questions for Six Sigma Black Belt. So, let us begin. Question number one, what is alpha and beta risk? The answer is, alpha and beta risks are the risks involved while conducting a statistical analysis with the help of hypothesis testing. While estimating a value with hypothesis testing, two types of mistakes may occur. Incorrectly deciding that the value is out of the predicted range, rejecting a true hypothesis, is referred to as alpha risk. Incorrectly deciding that an outside value falls within the predicted range, accepting a false hypothesis, is referred to as beta risk. Question number 2. What is the p-value? The answer is, p-value is also known as probability value, it is a statistical measure that indicates the probability of making an alpha error. The value ranges between 0 and 1. We normally work with 5% alpha risk, a p-value lower than 0.05 means that we reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternate hypothesis. Question number 3, if the data is non-normal, what hypothesis test should we do? The answer is, in case the data is non-normal, we are required to make the data normal, but if we cannot, then we must use the non-normal hypothesis testing, as per their subgroup size. Post the analysis phase. Questions can be asked about improvement plans or the tools used, such that the improvement can be done using the failure modes and effects analysis, therefore we should know about FMEA and types of FMEA, what is risk priority number value and how to calculate it. We can also use the affinity diagram for the solution purpose, which can be done by brainstorming to resolve the issues. Question number 4, when starting a Six Sigma project, what should be handled first? The answer is, at first you are required to check whether that process is in control or not, such that if the data is normal or not, or if the process is not stable, we cannot run the project, we need to make process stable. Also, we need to see the process normality, as per the process normality or non-normality, we do the process capability to see whether the process is capable enough to run the project. Question number 5, what is SIPOC? The answer is, it is the tool used to see the overall process in one instant, it gives the whole picture of suppliers, inputs, processes, outputs, and customers. Question number 6, what is the primary role of executive leaders or executive management in terms of implementing a Six Sigma team? The answer is, executive management is the individuals responsible for driving initiatives to ensure their product quality and processes are optimized to a profitable level where the entire team is being productive with fewer operations costs incurred. Usually, the executive leaders will be the CEO or board of director members, etc. such that the primary objective is to make sure that they deliver a quality product to the customers and ensure satisfied users. Question number 7. Which hypothesis test should be used to ascertain improvement of the worker's performance before and after training? The answer is, paired sample t-test is a statistical technique that is used to compare two population means in the case of two samples that are correlated. Paired sample t-test is used in before-after studies, or when the samples are the matched pairs, or when it is a case control study. It is used to compare two population means where you have two samples in which observations in one sample can be paired with observations in the other sample. Hence. As all workers' performance before and after training needs to be studied, a hence parent t-test is suitable for the task. Question number 8, what is the objective of using the control chart? The answer is, the control chart represents the process capability, once special causes have been identified and removed from the process. Day-to-day -day control charts help identify assignable causes to any variations that occur. Control charts are special types of time series charts in which control limits are calculated around the central location, or mean, of the variable being plotted. Question number 9, what is the theory of constraints? The answer is, the theory of constraints is a methodology for identifying the most important limiting factor that is the constraint that stands in the way of achieving a goal and then systematically improving that constraint until it is no longer the limiting factor. Most constraints are the result of policies. Question number 10, what is used in a visual factory? The answer is, a visual factory is a combination of signs, charts, and other visual representations of information that enable the quick dissemination of data within a lean manufacturing process. The visual factory attempts to reduce the time and resources required to communicate the same information verbally or in written form, as both are viewed as a waste within the framework of a lean manufacturing process. Question number 11, which technique reduces change over times? The answer is, 
Single minute exchange of dies is the technique for reducing change over time to change a process from running specific product manufacturer to another. It enables flexibility in final product offerings and also addresses smaller batch sizes. Question number 12 What is a formula for DPMO? The answer is defects per million opportunities are the average number of defects per unit observed during an average production run divided by the number of opportunities to make a defect on the product under study during that run normalized to 1 million. To calculate DPO use the given formula. Question number 13. What is the standard deviation for a process giving nonconformities as per Poisson distribution with the mean of the nonconformities is 25? The answer is, Poisson distribution is used for situations when an attribute possibility is that each sample can have multiple defects or failures. The standard deviation is a measure of the spread of scores within a set of data. For Poisson distributions, the standard deviation is approximated by the square root of the mean. Therefore the square root of 25 is 5. Question number 14. What should the user infer if the number of distinct categories for a measurement system using a micrometer is 1? The answer is, the number of distinct categories signifies the usefulness of a measurement system for a product. It gives the number of divisions that the measurement system can accurately measure across process variation. If the index is less than 2, it is useless for study as the minimum acceptable value is 5. As a micrometer is being used in the question or in decimal places but, a value of 1 is below the minimum. Question number 15. Which tools are commonly used in the defined phase of a project? The answer is, the best tool which is commonly used in the defined phase of a project is affinity. The word affinity means a natural attraction or kinship. The affinity diagram organizes ideas into meaningful categories by recognizing their underlying similarity. It reduces data by organizing large inputs into a smaller number of major dimensions, constructs, or categories. It organizes facts, opinions, and issues into natural groups to help diagnose a complex situation or find themes. It is used in the defined phase to organize a lot of ideas and identify central themes in them. Question number 16. Which factor is responsible for implementing Six Sigma? The answer is, profit improvement is the primary reason for companies to engage and undertake quality improvements by Six Sigma. Six Sigma is not just quality improvements but also providing better value to customers, investors, and employees. Six Sigma is a business initiative or a way of doing business that improves quality and productivity, increases competitiveness, and reduces cost. By controlling the amount of variation within the allowable upper and lower limits of a process, the frequency of out-of-control conditions reduces. Making Six Sigma as part of doing business reduces errors, identifies and corrects deviations in processes, and impacts the success of the organization. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.